Have you ever had an experience where you believe something to be true and then found out it never actually existed? For example, picture the Monopoly guy in your mind. What is he wearing? What stands out? Hold that image as we prepare to tap in. Hi, I'm Alexandra. Hi, I'm Russell. We're a husband and wife team. On a mission to explore the paranormal, the supernatural, the mystical, unexplained mysteries and bizarre folklore. We hope to shed light on these subjects and gather evidence along the way. Get ready to open your mind as we're tapping in. So what do you guys remember? Do you remember him wearing a tuxedo, a top hat, holding a cane, or maybe he was wearing a monocle? If that last one is what stands out the most, then this is probably going to shock you because apparently the Monopoly man never actually wore a monocle. Now, if you remember the monocle just as we do and a lot of other people, you might be experiencing a strange phenomenon that is known as the Mandela Effect. What thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people, possibly millions, <laughs> possibly millions of people have remembered him wearing a monocle. So simply put, the Mandela Effect is where a collective group of people remember something differently than how it actually is. Scientists and psychologists have a hard time explaining this because it's not an isolated event. So we actually had our own Mandela Effect experience before we ever learned what the Mandela Effect was. It was 2014 and we were living in Los Angeles. Uh, we were just watching TV. And news came on uh, that Betty White, the actor who you probably know from the Golden Girls, had passed away. So fast forward to 2016, and I was just scrolling on my phone and something popped up about Betty White. And it said, like, she was alive. And I was like, what? And so I looked at it. I thought maybe it was just like old news or, you know, something that had popped up like from a couple of years before, but it was current and it was saying that she was alive. At first I thought for a minute, okay, well maybe this is like some kind of a, a hoax. Another uh, couple actors that were reported having died in some kind of accident and then it turned out to be a hoax. And as we watched it again and again, we were like, how did this happen? How can she suddenly be alive again? Did she like fake her death? Did there, right. Was there like somebody who like was a double for her that got <laughs> mistaken for her passing away? All these different scenarios just kind of went off in our heads. Because I started Googling because I was like, this is crazy. And uh, like some articles came up saying like, oh yeah, Betty White was reported dead, but it was just like fake news back then. Right, right. And I was like, why would anyone even need to so, report that? As we dove a little deeper, kind of going down the rabbit hole online, um, we began to find out about this really strange phenomenon. So the term Mandela effect was actually coined by Fiona Broom in 2009 or 2010 um, when she created a website about her experience misremembering or having a different memory of Nelson Mandela's death the former president of South Africa. So she remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 80s. And it's not just her that's remembering this, but also millions of people said that they witnessed a televised event of his funeral, where his widow gave a speech and there was this whole procession. He was never released from prison. He never became president of South Africa. So when Fiona brought attention to that fact, other people started to share their experiences about even more Mandela effects. And this one still blows my mind because I know distinctly remembering it the way I remember it. The book, The Berenstein Bears. I should really say it's the series. Did you ever read these books when you were growing up? I love them. Maybe read them to your kids. Yeah, Berenstein as in B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. 100%. Right, but I'm here to tell you guys that's no longer true. 
The spelling of Berenstein is actually spelled with the S-T-A-I-N on the end of the word. Berenstain bears. Like what? How do you remember it? Yeah. Drop a comment below if you remember it being spelled the way we do or the way it's spelled now. Do you guys remember Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Of course you do. The evil queen standing before the mirror. What's the famous line that she says to the mirror? Think carefully. Have you got it? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wrong. <laughs> Apparently now it's magic mirror on the wall. I even confronted my mom about this and she agreed with me 100% that yeah, it's mirror, mirror on the wall. And when I told her that's not the case, she went, what? Why did this happen? There are a multitude of explanations that people have come up with. Basic mainstream psychologists like to be like, these are collective false memories that everybody is just coming up with. Like cognitive dissonance. Which kind of makes you feel like you're crazy. Right. Um, so another explanation people have come up with is parallel realities. So if you're familiar with quantum physics and the multiverse, right? Basically there are um, infinite possibilities of parallel realities. And if like one tiny little thing changes in this reality, you know, it can shift you into another reality. And so like we're constantly shifting into different realities. You make it, you know, a decision to cross the street right instead of left, whatever it is, you change your reality. So another explanation is that CERN, <laughs> has caused it. It's an organization out in Switzerland that has been designed with, of course, billions of dollars to uh, study um, gravitons and subatomic particles. And the way they do that is by, um, they have built these particle accelerators where basically they're colliding these atoms at such a speed that some people believe it creates uh, a black hole of sorts. And sometimes you've seen this like in movies right. and TV series, mm -hmm. um, but actually it's real. A ripple is kind of sent out in our reality um, because of the fact that they're working at a subatomic level. Finding the God particle. Finding the God particle, like right? Some people have written about that in scientific journals and magazines and so forth. Uh, the fact that they have been able to do that, and not just once, but however many times that they've experimented with this technology, has created a, a consequence, a ripple effect. Some scientists actually wanted to shut CERN down. There was like a lot of scientists that came right. together and said that CERN was like really dangerous. It could actually create a black hole and Earth could be like sucked into the black hole and basically we'd all be dead, right? Or go wherever a black hole takes someone. There's some theories actually that people believe that they actually already did that in 2012. And of course, lining up with the Mayan calendar, which is the end of a 2,500 year cycle, uh, that it already happened. And that somehow we all transported ourselves at a collective consciousness level to another reality, almost like transporting ourselves into a matrix type of reality. Or the black hole was created, this reality perished, and created, and everybody like jumped into another parallel reality and all these parallel realities, like some people believe like CERN created the multiverse right. with their particle accelerator. And so that's why all these parallel realities are merging together and creating all these Mandela effects. Because in one reality, the Monopoly guy does wear a monocle. Right. And in another reality, he probably doesn't have the top hat. I mean, who knows, right? There's so many right. possibilities. So another thing that people think, they're actually time travelers. Like, I don't know if you watched that show Timeless. The premise is, is that there's like this, like evil secret group of people, um, like Illuminati types called Rittenhouse, um, that are like going back in time and changing things. Rewriting history basically to serve their own needs or however they want history as we know it to go in the direction of. And of course that essentially creates parallel realities right. and people misremembering things if they're also a time traveler. Mm -hmm. So time travel has a lot of different rules depending mm -hmm. on who's making the rules with time travel and what you believe. So what do you think? 
Do you think some time travelers went back in time and erased our history, like erased the monocle off the Monopoly guy or changed the spelling of Berenstein Bears? Or do you think that it's all just in our heads and that we are all collectively misremembering something that we know in our hearts and in our heads was the way it was? Drop a comment below, guys, if you think this is absolutely just bogus stuff, or if you think you've experienced the Mandela effect. Yeah, let us something. know in the comments what your Mandela experiences are. We'd love to know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so that you can get notified when our next video comes out. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tapping In. Weren't you just wearing blue? No, I wasn't wearing this all the time.